Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. The texts say that Inquisitor Omeridun was a dragon hunter who vanished on his last expedition. Yes, precisely. I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chantry. Inquisitor Omeridun stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. If the last Inquisitor has been missing for 800 years, it's only fitting that today's Inquisition help find him. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Ameridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the Basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. I should go. Be careful out there. for the new camps. Tree houses. It all sounds awful and precarious. I thought we could catch up. What's on your mind? Have you spoken to Kenrick much? A bit. He's quite nice, isn't he? And clever. Really loves his books. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. I can't stop doing it now. <laughs> it's too funny. How do you like the Frostback Basin? It's lovely, isn't it? At least until you step in a pile of bogfisher poo. The stuff's vile. It makes great fuel for starting fires, though, if you can tolerate the smell. I might suggest that to the commander. It could be great for sieges. That is a brilliant idea. I'll endorse it. Wonderful. I'll write it up as soon as I get back to Skyhold. What are your thoughts about our progress against Corypheus? Progress? We'll make some progress soon, won't we? Right now it feels like he's won already. No, I shouldn't say such things. Evil can't win in the end. I have to believe it can't. Otherwise, I'd just start crying and never stop. I hear you have family in Ferelden. Yes, my mother and father. I insisted they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Ambassador Montelier tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they'd be proud of me. But after Haven, I, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. It's just, I just want them to be safe. And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. They say you grew up in a village. Where did you learn to fight, draw a bow, all that? Here and there. You pick things up as a little dwarf girl in a village filled with piggish Ferelden boys. 
I'm no artist with a blade. I just know what hurts and what takes them down quick. Bruised a shin or two in my day, and a few, you know, other things. <laughs> and archery? Oh, there was a traveling hunter who set me up with my first bow and taught me the basics. After that, I practiced on my own. <laughs> On squirrels, mostly. Oh, and Heinrich from next door, but only with padded arrows. What do you think about the Avar? When I was a little girl, a lady in our village used to tell me Avar tales. Being able to see their lives up close, it's nothing like I thought. They're very tall, aren't they? I was considering a proposal for Commander Cullen. Avar allies with dwarven archers astride their shoulders. Oh, I like the way she thinks. We should keep her around for mayhem. Yes, mayhem. All right, get it out of your system. Mayhem! Mayhem! Uh, it's funny how a word loses its meaning when you say it enough times. We'll continue this another time. Safe travels. <laughs>